How did you know this? I didn't know at all. I found that it actually gave a lot From Texas to Chicago to the streets of Hong Kong, Optimus Prime and the Autobots are back with a vengeance with plenty of bot-on-bot -bot action, but it's the new cast of humans, led by our favorite Mark Wahlberg, that really transform number four. I actually feel like you have single-handedly transformed this whole saga again. It's, it's like this whole new story. Well, that's what he wanted to do something new and fresh and, and uh, kind of change it up a bit. And, you know, again, me, I didn't think of the pressures and the weights of kind of taking over for somebody else or do, doing the fourth installment in the series. I just thought, you know, okay, this is an interesting character. It's something new and different for me. Uh, embrace the idea of playing the father. Uh, I used to be the kind of jerky boyfriend who was the thorn in the father's side. And, uh, you know, I, I embraced it. And, you know, I didn't think about anything other than can I make this character real and believable. Bring it up! All the way! You guys have never seen a truck like this before. Dad, you can't keep spending money on junk. I don't think it's a truck at all. I think we just found a transformer. Dad! I'm gonna ask you this once. Where is Optimus Prime? Why are you such a good bad guy? I, well, I, th I think... It's, it's, I, I think the success of a bad guy depends upon recognizing that he has a mission, that it's a valid idea, and that he is, he's willing to sacrifice every known boundary to achieve mm -hmm. that goal. And that, you're a government bad guy. I'm government, I'm a GI bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, uh, honestly, I think it's a little bit of a stereotype thing. I just think, what I like about this character is, you know, he's been a devoted civil servant, basically, for yes. all this time. He's been, he's been a very loyal, selfless, uh, courageous, patriotic guy and has paid a big price for it. And something in him just turns at one point and finally says, well, you know, I want, I want my payback. After all we have done, humans are hunting us. I fear we are all targets now. What is that? Who sent you here? How does being on location in a place like Hong Kong color your performance? Well, you, you know, Michael shoots very, um, almost like guerrilla style, which, which I really love. Um, it's not like where you go do most big movies and every shot sort of takes a really long time and the setups are forever and you might get a half a page a day or something like that. Michael will shoot three pages a, a day and you'll have some huge sequence and, and he'll somehow put it together and make it happen before lunch. No, no, I've never seen anyone quite like this before. And then when you're shooting in Hong Kong, we're just shooting on the streets. I mean. Things would happen, people would walk by, cars would go by, and you'd just keep shooting. This is not war. It's human extinction. Nothing like spending a weekend in Hong Kong with Optimus Prime and the rest of the cast of Transformers Age of Extinction. Be sure and look for it in your real-time theater.